I step out of my room, I wake up, straight adrenaline took over, this flashlight to my face, I'm thinking it's the police. I literally surrender, I got hands up, and then when they started shooting me, I'm like, okay, this is not the police. So they, uh, one of them hit me in the head, I fell, I already got shot. On hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, by now, everyone knows the news that CJ So Cool was shot four times. So, allegedly, I don't think this is allegedly, but CJ and them do be playing too much, but allegedly, um, two armed men broke into his, his um, home beautiful mansion and uh, I believe he was home by himself and they came in to rob, steal, and destroy and apparently kill so we don't know the, 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 the details you know like cause you know how we know Z as reactors I want to know what door did they come in did they, did they you know like how they get in because um, my assumption is that he's in a gated community. And, you know, you got to know somebody. The gate got to... If he got a gate, the gate got to let you in. And the gate's not going to let you in unless the homeowner says yes. Or you leave your name at the, at the gate. So, let's just say he wasn't... It wasn't that type of community. And, for you know, he got docked. Somehow, some way, he got docked, and these low life, low vibrational robbers. I mean, damn! You really had to like think about that. You really had to plan this this home invasion. That's a home invasion. And then it's a mansion. So then, how you know which room was his? How you know which room was his? I still get lost in my house. How you know? You can open one door all day, and that's the door. Oh, that ain't it. You got to know a house to be able to rob it, in, in my opinion. Now, if you just a crackhead just looking to get anything, you going to go in every room and you just gathering, gathering. But you went into a house with multiple rooms. And CJ had said from his bed that he was uh, trying to go to sleep. So he wasn't in a deep sleep yet. He wasn't in his REM sleep. Because, you know, we cycle in our sleep. But he wasn't in a deep sleep, apparently. Because he had a wherewithal to get up and fight the bandits. Allegedly. I did see one little scratch at the top of his head. I did see that. But if two armed men come in your house, and it's dark. I'm assuming it's dark. How did... CJ, mm -mm. I, I got questions. I got questions. I know you were shot because you showed us the bullet wounds. I know you were shot. Thank God they wasn't no expert shooters. They wasn't expert shooters. Thank God they got you in the legs. So that means you might have been laying down. You start kicking your legs. You know, somebody come at you to fight you and you you laying down so you just start kicking your legs kicking your legs kicking your legs maybe that's how he got shot because he was kicking his legs in the bed and that's when they boom 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 and mm, 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 mm. that's so traumatic comment down below would you ever sleep in that house again would you ever sleep let me tell you something <clears throat> i don't left apartments for less I left an apartment because it had rat, a rat. And I've left an apartment because it had mice. This is back in my 20s when I was trying to figure out my life. And, you know, you know, going from place to place, finding apartments. and that, that, that. You know, that struck them struggle years. Finding yourself years. Oh, hell yeah. I leave an apartment because I... Oh, is that a mouse? Now this your shit. I know we ain't got roaches. I'm out. Somebody shoot me in my home. I'm never sleeping there again. I'm, I'm not, I don't even think I'm going back. I, I'll send somebody to go get myself. I can't stay here no more. I can't stay here anymore. 
as content creators, especially somebody like CJ Cool, because CJ wants you to see all his rings, all his necklaces, all his cars, all his everything. So I don't look at his channel like that. I really didn't. I don't know what his demographic is because I was at a, a middle school when I read it and I was at, around some middle school kids and they like, how old are kids? Like 10 to 13. And I was like, oh snap, you know, yeah, I try to talk like them when I'm around them. I'll be like, oh snap. And they're like, lady, that's old. But I was like, oh man, CJ Cool got shot. And the kids was like, because I had just pranked them the other day about somebody. I had lied and told them somebody else got shot. You know, I was doing the, the TikTok prank on them on their asses. And so they didn't believe me, but but they didn't care. They were like, who is CJ Cool? And I'm like, you don't know who CJ Cool is? You know, from, from YouTube? Out of those kids, one girl knew who he was. And knew all about royalty and they broke up like she followed them but I this was a class more full of boys but still I thought that was the age group of people that watched them but anyway I, I mean I know about him and I watched a little bit here and there but I don't watch him like religiously like that but in in conclusion, he is definitely traumatized because of what happened to him. I don't know his history like that. I don't know if he grew up in the ghetto or he grew up in the suburbs and he wasn't around violence like that. You know, I don't think any of, you know, anybody who just because you grow up in a, um, a violent area should be accustomed to violence. Absolutely not. Um, so I don't know kind of where he comes from and all of that stuff but and however you know being shot four times you know he's traumatized he is forever traumatized because of what happened to him so all we can do now is keep him in our prayers you know CJ and hopefully you know you might need some trauma therapy you definitely might need some therapy to deal with what has happened to you because this is something that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life the sound the intrusion the man get the fuck up I don't know what they said I'm a legend I'm a legend what you doing you ninja you know what I mean all that all that rah rah in your ear in your room and the first thing you think is what you doing in here you crazy and then that's when your legs are pop. Da, 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 and, oh my God, today. And then did they run out? See, Jeff, I find that you did this for clicks and views. I swear for the. Did they run out? You know, in many mansion neighborhoods, the houses are far apart. They use good wood to make it. Like, so people ain't going to hear, your neighbor ain't going to hear no gunshots from your room. I don't know if his room on the second floor or third. Obviously, the robbers knew exactly where his room was. But let's just all keep him in our hearts and in our minds and in our prayers. And for them robbers, you no good sons of bitches. I hope they catch you. I hope you go to jail for attempted murder, robbery, assault, breaking and entering, and getting on everybody's goddamn nerves. Good night. I mean, bye, y'all. Uh, they were tying my legs down, keeping the blood, you know, from gushing everywhere, which is everywhere. My boy D was a witness. He got videos on his phone. He sent them to me, but I don't think I should post that. I wasn't that. ready. Like, I wasn't, I'm not ready for the camera, bro. How are you not ready? are gone because it was so close. Like, literally, this is the gun, and Lexi Smith, they were shooting me, like, this close. Because I got my hands on the gun. They're trying to shoot me right here, and I'm just pushing it down, pushing it down. Anything but minding my own business is sleep. So if someone has a hit out on me, I can't change anything about me that will make them change their mind. They want me dead. They want me dead. So the only thing I can say is... eating you. Psychology Eats is here to help you. What's eating you? Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe. Thank you.